Okay, you guys, I'm going to walk you through a couple problems on page 8. And um, page 8 starts off with just finding slope. And they've given you two points. So I'm on vacation right now. It's going to be a, a little bit different setup. So I might be moving this around a little bit more than I have on the past videos. But I'm going to start right here. So the standard slope formula. Remember, it's rate of change of the y's, which we figure out by doing y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over the change in the x, which is x2 minus x1. And you could label them like this. I could label that x1, y1. I could label this x2, y2. And here I go with my slope. So my second y, 13 minus my first y, 1, my second x, negative 8, minus my second y, minus negative 5, which as you know could be the same as plus 5 right there, and my top is a 12, my bottom I got a negative 8 plus 5, that's negative 3, so the slope of this line is negative 4, so in this case m equals negative 4, and I'm going to stop on that. So I just want to show you that, remember that undefined, I'm just checking to see if this fits, oh, sort of, undefined is a number divided by zero, because you can't divide by zero, and a zero slope is zero divided by any number, and you should be able to get to six pretty easy right there. All right, now I'm going to move down, and I'm going to, I don't know. Maybe we'll pick problem 14 down here, and we'll show you how to go through this. This is giving you an equation, right? You're taking this table and making your own equation. Well, if you remember, since we're dealing with linear equations, I only need two points to make a linear equation. So I'm only going to pick two of these, and I'm going to write them down below, and hopefully have enough room to fit. So let me get my spacing in here. All right, so the two points I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick this point right here, which is 1, 5. I'm going to pick this point right here, which is negative 2, negative 10. And those are my two points I'm going to use. I could use these as well, but for right now, I'm just going to kind of cross them off so you can see the points we're focusing on. All right, I'm going to um, come out over here. I'm going to figure out the slope of that line, the same method we used up top. I'm going to take my second y, which is negative 10. I'm going to subtract my first y, which is 5. My second x, which is negative 2. I'm going to subtract my first x, which is 1. And if I do this, I get negative 15. That's negative 10 minus 5 over negative 3, which is negative 2 minus 1, which gives me a slope of... Five. All right. Remember to write an equation in slope-intercept form. We need both the slope and the y-intercept. I'm going to underline them as I say them. The slope and the y-intercept. And right now we know our slope is five. All right. There's a couple of ways to get the y-intercept. One way is to check to see if any of these x values are zero, and they are not zero. So. I, they don't start off by giving me the y-intercept. All right, I am going to show you a couple that do, like 8 right here. We know since the x is 0, that is our y-intercept of 1, and I wouldn't have to do this final step that I'm about to show you down here. All right, but we don't start off knowing the y-intercept here. So what I've taught you to do, which is probably a little different than your original teacher taught you back in 8th grade, is I have taught you to use point slope form. And I'm going to write point slope form right here. This says take y, subtract any known y, equals your slope, and then x, and any known x. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put a star by the point I'm going to use, which isn't much of a star, but here we go. So I'm going to say y minus 5. That's the from this point right here, 1, 5, we're going to use the y value, equals our slope, which we've already set as 5. And then we have x minus 1. 
That's the known x we have. If I distribute through, I got y minus 5. Don't forget to bring that 5 to both. Equals 5x minus 5. And if I add 5 to both sides, I get y equals 5x because this cancels out. All right. And that tells me that my b actually is 0 if I add 5 to that. And I have an equation of y equals 5x, which is what we're going for. All right. That is page 8. I'm going to keep this short and simple. All right. And, um, you know what? I am going to do one more. You should be able to work through this equation right here. They're asking you to take this data right here and turn it into a um, equation, which is both a recursive routine and equation. Take some points, get a table, and so on. I am going to at least give you some points. All right. In a race, Charlie has a 12 meter head start. But unfortunately, he gets confused and runs the wrong way at four meters per second. So at the very beginning of the race, he has um, a 12 meter head start. There's a known point. And then every second, he goes four meters in the wrong direction. It means these would be my y's, which would be how many meters, right? He's moving, starts at 12 y meters and goes four meters back. And down here would be my x's, which is time in seconds. And I'm gonna let you do that one yourself. All right, but with these known points, you should be able to do it. I'm gonna finish up page eight and nine by coming down here and just talking real briefly over x and y intercepts and showing you how to do one. That is my y axis and this is my x axis. All right. So if you're given a point, I want to point out that anytime I put a point on my y axis, the x value is 0, right? We'll say that's 0 3 because from here I have not gone left nor have I gone right in order to touch my y-axis. So every single point on here has an x value of 0 that might be 0, negative 1. So I know that if I'm looking for a, and I'm going to come over here and let's do this. I'm going to make sure my finger's still on here. All right. So if I'm looking for a point on my y-axis called my y-intercept because it touches the y-axis, my x value is 0. Look, this is my x-axis right here. And any time I put a point on my x-axis, I have not moved up, nor have I moved down. I don't know, we'll call this 3, 0, right? Because I've gone over 1, 2, 3. So because of this, any time I touch my x-axis or get my x-intercept, my y-value is 0. And really, those problems are that easy. Watch me solve this guy right here. So for my y-intercept, I'm going to take this equation right here. I'm going to plug in a 0 for my x. All right. Well, 2 times 0 is just 0, so this is y equals 9. That's my y-intercept. And for my x-intercept... I'm going to plug in a 0 for my y, which is 2x plus 0 equals 9, which gives me 2x equals 9. If I divide by 2, x equals 4.5. And that is really how simple this page is. So I've given you everything you need for page 8 and 9. I'm going to post this, try to do 9 and 10 later on today, maybe even instantly. And it's much of the same stuff. And I hope you guys are keeping up on this. Try to do a little bit each day, you guys.